Welcome everybody. My name is Dave Davis. I'm chairman of the board of Ariston Thermal USA. You're here at HDP corporate office. So we're going to be going up in the training center, kind of going over some of the new introduction of products we have and some of the existing products we have. We appreciate you tuning in. We talked about the ELU and the advantages of some of the systems and the components. One of the things when we started doing our design of the new ELU and the EFTU, which is our fire tube over here, is we wanted to use common parts and we wanted really the designs to be pretty much the same. The real difference between the ELU and the EFTU, the heart of the heat is really the, just the heat exchanger, which is a really nice benefit for your customers out there if they are installing both types of products. And even for the wholesalers, because then they can have common parts uh, for both product lines, because some guys do like the water tubes and some guys like the fire tubes. So what I like to do is take a closer look at the fire tube, just kind of going over those features and show you the uh, benefits of our system versus our competitors. This is our 199 fire tube boiler. Uh, similar to what I was showing you earlier on the ELU, it has basically very similar, all the same components, gas valves, relay box, inlet silencer, fan, polyduro mixer. Up here, there is one difference is that we don't have the air scoop like we had on the ELU, but what we do is when you start, when you're starting the boiler, we have a purge cycle, and then we have this manual air purge station, which not only allows you to get the air out, but it also has a plastic hose that discharges to your condensate, so it primes your condensate at the same time. The differences between the fire tube and the water tube, um, there's really, differences that the certain contractors prefer. On a fire tube, basically you have a larger round diameter cylinder with multiple tubes. Um, it can be up to 22 tubes in an individual circuit that transfer the energy from top to bottom. As the combustion happens in the main combustion chamber, the flue gases go down, get condensed, and then get trapped. The real key to the design of a fire tube is it has very low pressure drop because you're Basically, your circuit, your hydraulic circuit, is through the heat exchanger where it is wide open. A water tube is basically a single circuit. It's one tube where we have one very large tube. It's wound in a helical design. We have a front section in the water tube and then a back section. And in the front section is where we fire, where we take the first, it's the first pass. Then as you go down, you go into the second pass where you take the latent heat out of the heat exchanger. Having only no welds, basically it's one single circuit, and it's very large diameter, and the Extra Tech trade name is really a, a patented design that is, is unique to HDP. The fire tubes are also good heat exchangers. They're just a little different in design, and they provide a little bit different function than they do on the water tube.